All right, fish number four for Lake Trophy Lures. Smaller yet, but look at the patterns on that guy, the colors. It's just real nice looking camouflage color. Today's episode is sponsored by Lake Fork Trophy Lures. So we're out here at my favorite bass spot that I found last year and today is just absolutely beautiful. I mean, just look at this. Uh, the air temperature is getting up towards 55. It's gonna be about 60 degrees today. Water temperature is about 48-ish. And this honestly is the calmest that I have ever seen the river in my entire life. I mean, just take a look at this here. It is just absolutely perfectly still. So, definitely going to be good today. Now, like I said, we're using Lake Fork Trophy lures. Right now, I have their square bill crankbait tied up. And I've never used a white lure period here. So, hopefully this will work out. Uh, you can see it's got kind of a splattered back there and it's got a yellow belly. The splatter paint is becoming very popular um, and a lot of people think that it just looks cool but in my opinion the purpose behind it is it kind of makes the lure look like it's a deformed bait fish because there's not a lot of things out there that naturally have that splatter color uh, so it's going to look deformed and that's one of the big things now is deformed baits. You know, you see guys customizing their jigs and their soft plastics with a stripe of chartreuse or a different contrasting color. And that's something that I'm really big on. You know, a lot of people think that you have to use, like a jig, for example, you have to use the same color trailer as the jig, but I'll switch it up and use a completely contrasting color. You know, if I throw a green pumpkin jig, I'm going to throw a blue, white, or chartreuse, or even yellow. Uh, trailer on there you know I'm not gonna go with a green pumpkin trailer so let's get to it now I'm gonna show you guys here what I brought with me to use today from Lake Fork Trophy Lures you saw the square bill crankbait now the other thing I'm gonna try just in case these bass are still on a winter bite and you need more finesse is a Ned rig now what I did here is Lake Fork Trophy Lures has a segmented stick worm uh, and it's just an, their normal stick worm and I took that and cut it at the segments. Um, I had the other half on another Ned rig, but I actually lost it on a snag. So I just rigged that up to a mushroom head. Now the other thing that I brought is their whacking worm. It's a segmented uh, wacky rig worm, which is really, really cool. I got that on a little wacky rig O-ring and that's the best hook that I could find for right now, a little bait holder hook. And I got a couple of those. And then I also brought their Magic Shad. It's a segmented sickle tail shad, green pumpkin to silver and white. See those segments there, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to be using this as a jerk bait if the bite is still slow. Now, the greatest thing about, there's two great things about Lake Fork Trophy Lures. Number one is Every single bait that they have, soft plastic wise, is segmented. So it puts off a ton of action, as you can see. And the other thing about these guys is every single soft plastic is scented with garlic. I mean, I wish you guys could smell this. Like Emerald used to say, I wish you had smell a vision because, I mean, it's just absolutely powerful. Uh, so what I actually did too is I took this square bill crankbait and I stuffed it in one of the packs of soft plastics. So now the square bill t smells like garlic too. Thank you. 
look at that chunk. This is an absolute hog, guys. Awesome. This makes me very excited. This is my first bass of the year, and it's bigger than the smallmouth that I caught last year. Look at that, right on the Lake Fork Trophy Lures crankbait. Let me get a couple pictures of this quick. Three point one three pounds. I hope you can see that there. Look at this hog. And I know that she's spawning because she's got a big old belly. Let's get her back. Come on, mama. There she goes. Awesome. So it's day two. I had to come back to finish this video. Camera stopped working after I caught that first fish, uh, but I did catch one more. She was a little bit heavier. The first fish was 313. The second one was 331. And I caught the second one here on the sickle tail magic shad here. Uh, just rigged it up weedless to a wide gap hook here. Um, and that's really cool because, as you guys might know, last year I didn't have any luck at all on anything that had any kind of green pumpkin color on it. And these magic shads here are green pumpkin and white, kind of a pearl white, so that's really nice. Uh, water's calm again today. Water temp's about 52 degrees. Air temp is about 55, so that's actually really nice. Now, I don't know what's going to happen here because while it is warm right now, and the bass should be thinking about spawning, Later on in the week, about four or five days away, it's actually going to drop back down below freezing. So I'm not sure what the bass are going to be doing today. Let's find out. You gotta go. I'll be back. There we go guys, there's fish number three for the Lake Fork Trophy Lures, right on the magic shad here. And that was definitely interesting, I was actually on the phone with my wife, and I wasn't even moving the bait, and he took it up. Let's get a weight on him quick. Two and a half pounds, not as big as the other day, but still not too bad. He caught me with the hook when he jumped there when I was grabbing him out of the water. Now with this magic shad, right now today, I'm not using any kind of weight, which is proving difficult because the current is actually really fast, and so it's kind of riding in between the one to two feet area, and it's not really sinking down where most of the fish are. Now if you want to do that, just rig it up Carolina style. Uh, give it about 12 inches worth of leader because that'll really make sure that it gets a lot of action um, Otherwise if the fish are up on top don't put any weight on it Just real kind of medium speed and if you see the bait come up to the top of the water just slow down or let it sink for a second and I tell you guys these Lake Fork Trophy lures are pretty cool nice fish catching lures uh, the scent definitely, I think, has a lot to do with it and the action of the segments there. So we're going to try for a few more minutes before we got to get out of here. i got to get my daughter to a doctor's appointment. That's what my wife was calling me for to remind me because I totally forgot. number four for Lake Trophy Lures. Smaller yet, but look at the patterns on that guy, the colors. Just real nice looking camouflage color. Get another weight. And there's a nice big fish jumping right in front of us. 
just under two pounds so not bad check that out beautiful color guys please click the subscribe button down below and uh, head over to Twitter if you have a Twitter account and follow us uh, my username is down below in the description box and uh, just go out and take your kids fishing and have a blast guys thank you guys very much for watching us today check out Lake Fork Trophy Lures they're a nice company from Texas really great people to work with uh, and they'll definitely set you up with all the action baits that they have see you guys next week